Hey guys, Jenny from Tide Out Iguana. I'm here today to talk to you about bromeliads. I wanted to kind of show you the pros to them, some of the cons, but mostly the good stuff. So let's get started. So to start with, I mean, bromeliads look really awesome. They come in all sorts of colors, shapes, sizes, all that good stuff. They also hold water, so like dart frogs really like to uh, sit in them and basically bathe, because since they can't swim, don't give them pool water, but you can give them bromeliad, they'll sit in there. And I kind of talked about this in a previous video about how if you keep a plant, a live plant in your tank, it, you know, gives off uh, humidity, essentially. Not only will it keep humidity up in your tank, but it does extra because it holds that water. So it'll actually bump up the humidity in your tank a lot more. Another cool thing about bromeliads is not only can you stick it in the ground and it'll be just fine, but you can also put it on a branch and it'll be just fine there too. But a lot of bromeliads you can basically put on a branch, make sure there's some moss on there and they'll you know, take off pretty well. They get a lot of their nutrients from uh, whatever falls into their like cups, essentially. Another thing is their blooms are really pretty. They uh, show off these like, I mean, I guess it depends on what species, but like they'll, they'll show off like um, in the middle of like the cup, they'll, sh they'll have like these little flowers that kind of like bush in the middle of them. It's kind of cool. And then they do something called pupping. Uh, so essentially they'll start shooting off little baby bromeliads, <laughs> essentially. Uh, they're kind of cute. And after they start rooting, you know, you can cut those off and then have more bromeliad plant. plant. You can have more bromeliad plants. I can't talk today. <laughs> also, the really nice thing about bromeliads is that a lot of them are very, very strong. Pretty much most of them can stand up to even a, like a crested gecko. Whenever you put a freshly planted plant in your tank, usually you wanna give it some establishment time. So like a couple weeks or so to let them like grow roots and get like, you know, basically strong enough to where it can withstand something hitting it and kind of, you know, tugging at it a little bit. Whereas bromeliads, the, the leaves on them are very thick and strong. Uh, so you put them in, you put your crusted gecko in or your day gecko in the next day, they'll withstand it very, very easily. They're also really, uh, they don't grow very bushy. Usually the leaves just kind of get long. So you can actually trim those around and so you can kind of like cultivate it towards like taller versus like wider if that makes sense i'll uh i'll show an example <laughs> to kind of like show what i mean about that but yeah i would say the only con that i can think of right now whenever it comes to bromeliads there are certain species that are carnivorous uh, so you don't want to keep those in with a lot of your dark frogs because they will eventually get eaten uh, their uh, cups hold water that are very acidic so no go on there but they're cool to have i mean we have them here but we don't recommend obviously put them in in with any of your animals there's also some types of bromeliads where the edges are very sharp and kind of pointy uh, and can be uh, very rough to touch i've even been scratched a few times by them so just make sure that you're getting the right bromeliad whenever you're choosing one for your own tank so yeah i'll uh, show off a couple bromeliads that we have in our tanks before we show you the ones that you shouldn't. <laughs> As you can see here, our bromeliads, they hold water. So they're a little bit on the smaller side right now, but if you've got little tiny froglets or dart frogs, you know, they love to sit in those kinds of things, even like the little cups and the, the lower leaves and stuff like that. They even hold water as well. Um, as the bromeliad uh, starts to die off, the leaves will come off off the bottom, so it starts to get taller and taller. It's kind of cool. And then here's just a kind of the same species, but I wanted to show you like, so if like your leaves start dying, which is natural, you just go ahead and very gently kind of pull at them. They'll usually come right off. So, and so they're pruned very easily. All you gotta do is just take a pair of snippers, just snip them and then they end up looking like this where they're a little flat, but you let them sit and they look very nice and pretty. In here we have our baby gargoyle gecko, but we also have a bromeliad. Uh, so he will sometimes drink from the bromeliad. So we try to keep it fresh. So you, I like to blast it usually with like a little spray bottle or pour a little bit of water in it. Kind of helps keep that water in there fresh. But the other thing is that, as you can see, the bromeliad has really long leaves and it's 
you know, after a while it'll start getting, you know, caught into the tank stuff like the doors of the tank and everything. So what I do is I like to come in and I actually prune just the very tips of it. You can actually see I've shaped this. This has been here for what, like a year, more than a year. Like you just go in there and you kind of just snip the edge of it and it does just fine. So that one needs to be cut a little bit prettier. <laughs> but, but as you can see, you can shape them. So if like a bromeliad starts to outgrow your tank, you can snip them back a little bit and they do just fine. All right, so this is another one of our bromeliads. This is in our little paludarium here. This guy's, I mean, really strong. Like I'm actually putting a lot of pressure on that. But it's also got these very fun serrations on them. So it's, it. I don't know if you can really see, but see they hurt. So whenever I'm in here and I'm clipping plants out of this tank, man, I, you know, there you go. Just, you know, scraped myself. So. This is the one of the things you have to watch out for is whenever you are looking for um, a bromeliad to put into your tank with an animal, make sure you keep this in mind because um, this can hurt your animal. I mean, it's not gonna kill them, but it's not pleasant. <laughs> I don't like getting scraped. <laughs> Neither will your animal. So just keep an eye out for that. But. As you can see, they pull out some very, very beautiful leaves. You can see this one's kind of like a tiger, tiger striped. 